the victim in this world is always made out to be the weak one. So nothing is the way it seems. And the victim, who's supposed to be the weak one, is attacked severely by an angry, insane abuser to traumatize the victim. And the victim has to deal with all that residue. Total insanity. The victim, the victims in this world, if they survive, are the strongest ever. And the problem is, there's too many of them, so there's no help at all. I mean, you know, you can't just go and, oh, I'm being killed by my boyfriend, or my parent, or anybody else, a crazy friend. Hey, how many people tried to kill me? Fucking over ten, and that's the God's truth. Plus my dead husband. Uh, Arthur wasn't really the father of my two children. Now, Ted did stab me, so if he'd stabbed me the wrong way, Thanksgiving, uh, 2015, then that would have been, you know. And then, uh, when I ran away, um, when I was younger, the first time, I was almost killed. I was almost killed a lot of times. I almost died, like, twice in one day. A Spanish woman, I was going out with a guy, and the Spanish woman was, uh, jealous so she put poison in my food and then I uh when I ran but I was so drunk being that drunk my bones didn't I didn't crack my neck when I fell so uh there's one yeah that's the only good thing about one of the only good things about being uh drunk and you know that's why uh the mothers of uh drunk drivers are so pissed off but they, you know, families get killed or whoever gets killed. And then the drunk driver survives because they're drunk. And it's a kind of like a medicine. It's a truth serum. It can be very, very, very bad. But, you know, and other, you know, like whatever. Jesus did turn water into wine. So anyway, um, yeah. The victim is the super strong one, and in this world, they're made out to be the weak ones. Oh, that, you know. Well, they have nothing. Yeah. If you have nothing, you are super strong. But why does all the abusers, all the insane abusers, they get whatever they want? I mean, one of mine gives all their money away, and yet is so delusional thinking that I ever got anything uh, all the years like <laughs> nothing compared and, and then out of spite just cause oh <laughs> give thousands more away I mean why not <laughs> you already did it so far so why not just give them more and more and more whatever they have and, and me what what do you need money for yeah, no, I don't have any money. I don't have any for gas. No gas money. No gas money. No gas money. No gas money. Hey! And that's what I had to deal with. I had to deal with total hell. Well, you know, oh, oh, you need my, and that's what all my abusers did. I'm abused to death, but they go and they give away their money to whoever they want. Do they know what they're doing? You know, I'm the good guy. Oh, but, you know, they knew that they could abuse me to death. So, that's what happened to me. It's my whole life, basically. In a nutshell. And I have to forget about my past entirely. Like, I, yeah, there's nothing good in my life. I never had anything. Never, no one ever gave me $2,000. Oh, my God. Never. So... <laughs> my life's a total joke with no help at all no financial help 
No one, no one's gonna give. And it's just so sad that there's a event coming up, and for the community, they should help out the homeless. I mean, that's where it should go, especially for the lady Melody. And I don't even know how she still survives, and I saw her in the rain, and my heart goes out to her. I mean, I, of course I feel sorry for people. I mean, my God, she doesn't even talk. Like, for I don't know how many months now. I ain't count them. And, um... Uh, yeah, I can't one church feel sorry for her? Like, the morning breakfast where she goes? And just like... You know what? We've been noticing you for months now. And, well, we have a surprise for you. Stay in a hotel because we're able to afford that for you. Would you like that? I mean, something, you know. You need some type of some kind of support, and people that have nothing need everything, and I needed everything. Over twenty years ago, I needed everything. I mean, yeah, you know, like, I, well, I was just continually worked against constantly picked at constantly worked against and you know such a sad sad life and you know that's just the way it is can't do anything about it so can't complain about it can't be mad over it uh of the hardest thing in this world is for victims to accept the loss that they were forced to accept and tragic Major, major loss. You know, I can't do anything about it. Oh, well, it ha you know, life happens, yeah. Life is awful for the majority of people on this planet Earth. And that's what, you know, New Agers will not tell you. But somehow they got in their glitch. I mean, they're happy, they're rich, they have fun. And I'm not putting down the ones that aren't New Agers. Um... But, um, all of them. Well, we just want to know if you're the right fit for us. Yeah, they want to know if you have a thousand bucks or, um, 500 or, you know, something. You need something. Well, you have, well, oh, you're a multimillionaire. Now, some of them aren't. But, um, you can get easy passive income. How can I get any passive income? I have nothing. You know, I, you know, and no one helps out victims, especially when they were lied about, like me. My whole life was ruined in 2012. And I was marked for death from Facebook. That was erased because some guy from Canada, whatever, called me and, uh, you know, and I didn't know why. And then, and then I just, you know, and it didn't matter. You know, I, they ruined my name. You know, I, I ain't, you know, I can't get them for anything. You know, I, you know, some agency working against me this whole entire time. And there's four major uh, family members that know about so I, You know, it's just so hard. You know, like, oh my God, you set me up for death. Time and time and time again and again and again and again. With all my friends hacked and my four, um, three ex-boyfriends and supposed to be, and <laughs> one dead husband and in all reality, did I go out with them? And I would say, I'm a real person. No. Why? Because they're unspeakable and that's not a relationship. That's a death relationship. So I don't know where all these people come up with. Oh, well, that's a toxic relationship. Just say death relationship. A toxic death relationship. But if you put two negatives together, does that make it a positive? No, they're two negative words together. Don't. Hey. Oh, most of my... Whatever you want to call them. They were death... Tox... Tox... They were toxic death relationships. So that's not a relationship. There you go. Like, I mean, like, who do I know? No one. Except for a few nice acquaintances. Or okay. But, you know, I mean, did anybody support my back? 
Was anyone ever there for me? Did anyone ever do one thing for me? No. Nah. Not with, you know, all the, ab what the, the abuse that I endured. The tiny little 1% doesn't count the uh, 100 times worth of nightmares, of put-downs, of just totally abusing me over and over and over again. Same old shit. And I'm labeled to be the crazy one. And that's all victims. Every single victim. They don't question the insane abuser because the insane abuser has resources. Well, it happened in my place and this is what I say. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to honor you because, yeah, your poor victim doesn't have anything. And you made sure that your poor victim didn't have anything. But we're going to believe you, because it's your place. Oh, okay. The insane victims are saved all the time on Hell Earth. Satan damns the hell, sin cursed Earth, where evil reigns. The insane abuser 